Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we're continuing the renovations in Granny's room. We spent the day laying more subfloor and playing with our fur babies. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, how are y'all doing today? I hope all is well wherever you are in this big old world. It's a beautiful day here in the Virginia mountains. The sun is shining bright and the air is sweet, so Willow and Star are outside getting some exercise and fresh air. We have a busy day of renovations planned. We would like to finish laying the subfloor in Granny's room by the end of the day. We're headed back to the trailer park in a couple of days to finish packing up the mobile home rental. So today is the last chance to finish the floor in Granny's room. But first, some outside time with Willow, Star, and Milo. I would love to stay outside all day and play with Milo and the pups, but Tim is already hard at work, so it's time to head back inside and give him a hand. Before we can lay the subfloor, we need to add more insulation between the floor joists. A lot of the old insulation has fallen down to the ground. We will eventually have to go under the house and secure the insulation with a garden mesh type of material to prevent it from falling through again. But for right now, we are just stapling the insulation in place.
my last video, we prepped Granny's room for the new subfloors, and then we laid down the first two sheets of OSB board. I was calling it plywood, but the correct name of the boards that we're using is OSB board, which is made for subfloors. Tim will be applying an adhesive to the floor joist, and once the board is in place, he will then use screws to screw the board to the joist. We have big plans for Granny's bedroom. Tim's mom is dependent on a walker and a wheelchair to get around, and we want to make this room more accommodating for her. Right now, the bathroom is an awkward size with a door that is much too large for the space. We plan to knock down the bathroom wall with the door and extend it out about 12 inches. This will allow for more storage space in the bathroom, and then we will have more room for a normal size vanity. It will also be easier for her to maneuver throughout the bathroom. The next big plans we have is to install an exterior door that will lead out onto a deck so that she will be able to enjoy the outdoors easier. Our next big project after the subfloors will be the bathroom wall. The exterior door project is a little further down the road. I want to thank you all for your suggestions on the color of the metal roof that we're getting. We originally thought that we would go with a green roof, but I just never felt good about our decision. So Tim and I talked about it and we decided to go with a charcoal gray metal roof. That way it will match the gray siding that we have now. And whenever we decide to get new vinyl siding, it will be easier to find a color to match a dark gray roof versus a green one. And I feel much better about our decision. We have a few spots where the floor joists have become moldy from water damage. But before we can lay down the new subfloor, Tim is using Moldex to neutralize the mold spores. Moldex is designed to kill, clean, and inhibit the growth of mold and mildew. Once the liquid dries and has had time to work, we will then throw out the old moldy insulation and replace it with new.
Jim and the boys are making really good progress on the subfloor here in Granny's room. Our goal is to completely finish this room by the end of the summer. That way, when Tim's mom comes back from her daughter's house, she'll have a nice, comfortable place to sit and relax in while we continue renovations in the rest of the mobile home. I've had a few questions about where we'll be staying at while we're doing the work on the house. We will be living here in the mobile home during the renovations. The ideal situation would have been to rent something close by while we work on the house. Our current rental is located three hours away, so we can't stay there. And we really didn't want to go through a third move. And a hotel is out of the question. That would be way too expensive. We do have a camper, but we like to keep it parked at our property down in North Carolina so that we have a place to stay when we go down there to visit family. So that's why we made the decision to stay right here in the mobile home during the renovation process. Boys make this look so easy, but I know it's back-breaking work. It's hard work, but I know the boys are picking up valuable skills from their dad. It's not all sunshine and roses, but I hope that one day they'll look back with fond memories on the time that we worked so hard to bring this old mobile home back to life.
Well, they almost finished Granny's subfloor before dinner time. They've made really good progress. There's just a couple of more pieces to install, but it will have to wait for another day. We've got to pack up and head back to our rental. We have one week back at our mobile home rental to finish packing before we officially move into our new homestead, and I'm so excited. Well, y'all, I guess that's about it for another video. I'm really happy with the progress we made in the mobile home on this short trip. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to talk to you on my next one. Alright, y'all, I'll talk to you later. Bye!